Congratulations on making it through the week. Today is Friday, May 2nd, and today I want to talk about what other small businesses are doing to handle their marketing and using marketing firms versus not outsourcing it. Stay tuned. I want to talk today about a survey from Constant Contact. And I got to be frank, I really wasn't sure whether to use this survey or not as part of a podcast, but you know, here I am, I'm doing, doing a podcast on it. So um, the survey is about why small businesses and, and uh, some nonprofits who do or do not outsource their marketing efforts and how much time they're spending on each component of their marketing. So ultimately, obviously, I decided to talk about this because that's the same kind of choice that you as a dentist are faced with uh, that you'll have to make. Which aspects of your marketing will you do on your own or which will you pay someone like me or like anybody other marketing firm to handle for you? So let me jump into the results, the three specific results I want to talk about from this survey. Now, Constant Contact surveyed 1,300 businesses, and of those, 35% outsource their SEO. 23% outsource banner ads, 22% outsource their website, but only 3% outsource their newsletters and social media. Now, this doesn't really surprise me because SEO, as we discussed over the past couple days, is very complex. And some folks just simply don't know enough about computers and the internet to manage their SEO and their website and their banner ads. Now, here is something I do find surprising. When asked which aspects these businesses would outsource if they could, the largest difference between those who are and those who wish they could were social media 16%, SEO 15%. Why? Because those are the two biggest time sucks in any person's day. You can waste a ridiculous amount of time on social media and get very little or nothing in return. SEO has a big return, but you have to have the time to put in and the knowledge to do the writing and the optimization. Finally, the biggest reason those surveyed said they don't outsource their various marketing streams is money. Now, the funny thing I find about those who said they did not outsource because of money also in that same survey reported that they or their employees spend an average of 33 hours per week working on their marketing. Now, I find that interesting because 33 hours a week, if you look at the hourly cost and the cost of an employee, 33 hours a week is a lot of marketing dollars that you're doing in-house. And I bet that's probably at least enough to jump out into the marketplace. And I know for us, to jump into an entry-level package uh, that's really going to focus on attracting the patients that you want. If you haven't seen my new book yet, check out moreandbetterpatients.com. Leave some comments below on YouTube or Facebook and uh, let me know what you think of these podcasts or if you have any suggestions. Until next time, keep moving forward.